Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another update video. Today is Monday the 22nd of December and the time now is coming up to 20 to 7 in the morning. The weather outside is very windy. It's been windy for the last couple of hours. It's dark outside at the moment. But I'm going to show you something that is very exciting. If I zoom in on the meter, you can see two things. One, the green light on the HRSI charge controller is on, which means we are charging the batteries from the wind turbine. If I pan over to the meter on the input, this is with the turbine connected straight through with the voltage converter bypassed. And you can see some good numbers. I will start with the, the peak power was 24.8 watts which is good. The peak current was 1.82 amps. That's good too. So far we've generated 0.84 amp hours and 9.8 watt hours. So good numbers at the moment. You can see that the turbine is producing good voltage. As we can see and the controller cuts in, we've got 12.6 volts there. The wind's blowing quite well at the moment, as you can see, 12.6 volts there. The wind is good at the moment. As I said, it's dark, so we are producing no power from the solar panels. If I come back down here, you can see we are producing watts. Good to see. Power is going in to the battery. Yeah, we just saw 8 watts come up there. So that's very good. So this production is since approximately midnight. I reset the meter at round about midnight last night. So this shows you that the turbine is working. <laughs> my can, my location is not ideal for a wind turbine because it's in a built up area. But when the wind is right, it works. So here's some proof of that. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention before I, the batteries I'm using in the main bank are AGM batteries <laughs> now for cyclic use which is regular discharging such as you use every day you, the charging voltages should be between 14.4 volts and 15 volts the voltages for AGM batteries are quite high. Now, to charge them with your charge controller, these are sealed AGM batteries. But if you choose the sealed option on your charge controller, you will find that the voltages are not high enough. So, to get the correct voltages, I have to use the setting that is normally used for flooded or wet type batteries. So my con charge controller, the <laughs> Sunsaver MPPT, the battery type is set to flooded, so that will get you a higher voltage. So that's just something I wanted to mention. If you choose the sealed setting, the voltage will be too low. So that's something to mention. The 
current battery voltage is 12.59 volts so that's the current battery bank voltage if I come back down here again we are charging the battery charging the battery bank so there you can see power going into the batteries as the voltage goes up and down just lean here a minute so we peaked at 1.82 amps 24.8 watts 0.85 amp hours so far 9.9 .9 watt hours so that's good as the charge controller cuts in yet again so we're getting good charging now I just, I'm just finding that I need a good wind to get any production out of the Rutland 504 so yeah, we've got 9.9 .9 watts there and I currently hit half an amp so, so I have a Rutland 504 outside on a 10 foot aluminium pole at the bottom of the garden we are in a built out area which is not ideal the Rutland 504 is rated at 50 watts nominal normal, normal maximum if you have a really strong wind then apparently it can go up to 80 watts but from my experience the wind would be, have to be destructive to get that much power out so yeah we've got 13 watts there the wind is really blowing them. Anyway, this is Solar Tiger with this update video. I would also like to take the opportunity that if I don't make another video in the next few days, I would like to wish everybody on YouTube a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, this is Solar Tiger saying goodbye and have a good Christmas from England in the United Kingdom. So, Merry Christmas everybody. Thank you.